Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable, I know. Mean. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you when we first the morning. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Another popular game. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, miny. We could be the last year. Caller, you've got the first shot at that tonight. So, you do have a special speaker to talk. Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you next to me? Uh, I just hear a beat. Got close? Uh-huh. How many boats do you own? I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, La Italia Bella. Parlate Italiani? Um, yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Just very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing, no, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer, old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening, and uh, do be careful. Too. Oh man, don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. 
I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just want to talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh, man, this is great! And I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man! I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared, and... Well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power! Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff! Jeez, oh man! Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out! It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Oh, man! I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man! Well, other than my master, so I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man, but I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> Others rip me off. Uh, I'm dying here. Uh, uh, Mercurio, if that's what you mean. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks. Hit me with a bat. Feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. It's... Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta... you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in, I don't know. I wanna kill him. 
Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Ah, uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. What the hell? Web? You mean our network? What about it? Fine, whatever. Here's the key for the second floor. Stairs are down the hall. Tell the guard upstairs you're here to work on the network. Get a doctor. Ah, my insides. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Uh, are you sure you're in the right place? Psychiatrics are on the third floor. I have no idea what you're talking about. And to be honest, I don't have time to figure it out. I'm the only doctor here right now, and we have twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. Listen. I think you're telling me about that girl over there, and I hear you. But right now, I have a man with a bullet hole in his head, and he needs me more than she does. Just stay with her and make sure she doesn't go into shock, and I'll be there soon. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please?
who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> no, no, you did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You, I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? You. I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Huh? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So. If you have to ask. Need a fix? Dr. Bethlehem, the You. I will get to you when I can.
Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Wait now. What do you want? Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again.